Hey everybody, this is Jason from Cornerstone Dog Training and CornerstonePuppy.com. It's good to be with you again. You know, the other day I was looking through this book called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens. And you might be saying, look, I know that guy is not a teen. It's true, but I feel like my maturity level is pretty close to that of a teen. And uh, I like the teen book better. So... I like, I've liked that book since I was a kid, and I was reading through it and looking at this uh, one of the beginning chapters where it talks about uh, people's perspectives on things like um, that apparently King George or whatever on the 4th of July, 1776, wrote in his journal that nothing of importance happened today. Or somebody said, one of the, this is one of the dumbest quotes ever, they were like, computers really have no value. Or they were saying things like, uh, the airplane will never help in a military strategy or people will get tired of looking at a television. And so, and here we are. Those are things that came, were old quotes that didn't age very well. You know, in the, with the internet and things like that, we have all of these different things that sometimes get perpetuated. And w whether they're true or not, it's kind of fun for us to have to try and work through them and try and figure them out. It's things like, you know, the earth is flat. You know, I... I mean, a lot of people believe that for a long time, probably longer than people have believed otherwise, but we probably figured that one out. Or things like that birds aren't real. Now, I'm pretty sure that one started with Disney uh, and the Tiki 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 Room, <laughs> but I'm not sure. And we always joked about that when we were camping as kids that like the birds had cameras in their eyes. They were totally mechanical, right? Look at the way they move. There's also those things in the dog world. So there's things like once when somebody called me and they were frantic. They were totally, they were just like, we've got a big problem. We need your help as soon as possible. And I was like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? And they said, well, our, our French bulldog, our Frenchie, uh, fell into our swimming pool and almost drowned, just boop, sunk like a brick. And I was like, oh, yeah, that could be problematic. And they said, well, is there anything you can do? We've looked online and everywhere we look online, it says Frenchies anatomically cannot swim. And I kind of laughed because I knew that wasn't true, but there is a big push out there saying the only way your Frenchie will ever not sink like a brick is if you get a life jacket for your Frenchie. Now life jackets are great whenever you're wanting to swim with your dog. That's not a, you know, I'm not against life jackets at all, but Frenchies can swim. <gasps> I know, right? How crazy, can you believe, blow your mind, that, you, that a Frenchie can swim. It's so true. So anyway, I said, oh, no problem, let's figure something out. And they, they were like, they calmed down and they said, hey, why don't you bring your family and we'll make it like a, a family swim night. And I was all for that. That sounds great. You know, let's let's go for it. Let's, let's bring the family, our big little family, young family, big family. They're up there, so you can see their picture. There's lots of them. But we all went, and we got there, and uh, the whole point was we're going to teach the, their Frenchie, their one-year-old Frenchie, how to swim. And we did. It wasn't, you know, it's, it's, it's not really that crazy. And yet, one of these calls happens almost every year where someone says, oh, my goodness, we almost had this emergency. Or we found our dog out in the swimming pool, and it was exhausted. It, it was barely hanging on to life, just swimming around in the pool. So some dogs need a little help learning how to swim. And then we'll talk about the other end of that uh, as we get going. To teach your dog to swim isn't really complicated. Most dogs are pretty good at it and naturally start to get it. The thing that some dogs struggle with is that motion forward. So if you're going to teach your dog to swim, make sure you put them on a leash to start out and you go in the pool with them. It can be a flat collar. It could be a slip lead. Anything that's just, it could be a harness if you want. Harnesses might be a little complicated but we want them to feel that as they get in the water and they may be reluctant to do it I'm just gonna kind of coach them in if they want to jump in that's great that will help out a lot but if they don't want to because they had a traumatic experience like this French Bulldog then I'm going to say come on you gotta do it and he's gonna say no way I'm not going in there again but in case he falls in or he, go, he falls off of a boat, we want to make sure that he can learn to swim. So we're going to coax him in and, and make sure that he comes in. And that might even end up being a little bit of extra pressure to get him in. Once they get in, then we're going to make sure that they keep a forward motion. They will flail and they will move, but a lot of times um, dogs that struggle with swimming, they just don't 
realize they need to keep moving forward. And as long as they keep moving forward, they're going to be just fine. And so we, we got him on that lead, this French Bulldog, and he wanted to swim to me for, for safety. And I would just turn out of the way and keep him going so that he could move and teach him how to swim. Now, the next step, most dogs can't get out of a swimming pool on their own. A lot of times the way swimming pools uh, are where they kind of come out and up, a dog doesn't really have a big back leg kick. So a doggy paddle right is all forward with your hands. So they don't have a big kick uh, to be able to push themselves up out of the pool. And some dogs are big enough to do it, but for this French Bulldog, he definitely wasn't big enough to do it. And so the next step is to teach your dog how to get out of the pool. I got a call from someone in the uh, in Puerto Rico. In Puerto Rico, they called me and they said, our dog almost died, right? They were exhausted in the pool. We didn't know our dog was out in the pool. And we're just really scared about it. what do we do when they just moved there. So it, it, was, it was new to them. And so I just told them, okay, first of all, teach him how to swim. And then second of all, teach him where the exit is. So you think about it, if you're a dog and your head's just above water, it's probably pretty hard to see the stairs underneath the water. So you want to teach them over and over and over again how to get in and out of that pool, where those steps are and where they need to swim in order to get out. And as you do that, then of course your dog learns where they are. They remember, they know it's a life or death thing for them. They'll figure it out and they go to a corner and they can crawl out and get out when they need to. You, you, you teach your dog to swim. Okay, Our dog, does. she's part lab. She does not love to swim. That's who she is. But we're going to make her learn to swim, and we did. We made her learn how to swim so that she can be safe. And so dogs may not love it, but it's a really good thing to teach them in case of any emergency or any situation where they might get in the water. So since it's still summertime right now and anytime, teach your dog to swim. If you haven't done it already, make plans and go and set up an appointment where you can go to some pool somewhere where you can teach your dog to swim. Make sure they keep that forward momentum teach them how to get out of the pool, and then make it lighthearted and fun so that perhaps they enjoy the water. That would be a great thing to do. Now, if you ever have questions like this one, if you ever have questions like the one we just talked about, or you have questions about any random thing in dog training, even if you're like, this is what the internet said, right? Uh, <laughs> we've heard tons of questions and we always, we love it when we hear a new question, but we hear all sorts of dog questions and we've worked through all sorts of issues and we would just invite you to come and be part of our live Q and A. So if you're listening to this, live within the first few within the first week of it coming out we will be doing a live q a my wife and i will get on facebook and instagram and we'll do a live question and answer on this coming thursday the 4th of august 2022 so if you want to be part of that come be part of it ask your question at 2 p.m that's mountain time so please come be a part of that we would love to talk with you we love to hear how the podcast has helped you and influenced your life. And we love to hear how these videos can be of more use for you. So please let us know and ask those questions. And if you ask a really good one, there's a chance we may just do a podcast on it. So thanks guys and take care. Happy training.